the M7 Priest. Official designation, the 105mm howitzer motor carriage. Approximately 4,500 were built during World War II, between 1942 and 1945. They were in service during World War II in North Africa, Northwest Europe, and the Pacific. After World War II, they saw service with over a dozen different militaries. They would fight in the Korean War and with Israel in the Arab-Israeli Wars up until the early 1970s. To date, unfortunately, many of these self-propelled guns have been scrapped. Only about 15 are left in collections around the world. However, they do show up in a few older movies and TV shows, sometimes most entertainingly as German armor. So let's discuss this armored vehicle and as always, highlight a few places where it turns up in pop culture. Herr Kommandant, the Tiger Tank is here. The M7 Priest, like many American vehicles during World War II, was given its nickname by the British. The British called it the Priest because the machine gun ring resembles a pulpit, like you might find at a church. However, this man is not armed with scripture, rather a 50 caliber machine gun with 300 rounds. In the fall of 1941, the American Armored Force was rapidly expanding, and there was an urgent need for self-propelled artillery that was as mobile as the tanks they were supporting. Though a full-tank chassis was preferred, the readily available M3 half-track was the first vehicle to adopt the 105mm howitzer. The 105mm M1 howitzer was the most common light field howitzer in U.S. service during World War II. It had a reputation for accuracy and power. It fired high explosive ammunition to a maximum range just over 11 kilometers or near 7 miles. Beautifully conceived, beautifully executed. Production of the pre started in 1942. 3,489 units would be built, using the same chassis as the M3 Lee tank. Once the M4 Sherman replaced the Lee, the priest likewise would upgrade to the Sherman chassis, and 826 such variants would be built after March of 1944. Tank chassis allowed for greater mobility for the howitzer, over half-tracks. They further had stronger superstructures to support the 105mm gun. All versions remained open-topped, and they were only moderately armored. They were also not overly fast. Most versions had a maximum speed off-road of 24 km an hour, so they had to be carefully used in combat. The M7 weighed 23 metric tons, had an operational range of 120 miles, or 193 km, it carried a maximum of 69 rounds for the gun. The British were the first to use the priest in combat. In the North African campaign, 90 M7s were received by the British 8th Army. The vehicle was reliable, and for the Americans it was built using the most common components and gun. However, the British were in short supply of 105mm ammunition and the priest could not be fully utilized. Later helping to remedy this problem was the priest's cousin, the Canadian-designed Sexton, which used the same chassis, but mounted the British 25-pounder gun howitzer. Priests saw action throughout the war. In Italy, during the Normandy invasion, and the Battle of the Bulge, the Americans were very fond of them. U.S. armored divisions could have up to three battalions of M7s, giving them significant mobile artillery support. Here, Priest is being celebrated on camera in 1944, taking a first shot into Germany. One of the more interesting uses of the Priest was its conversion to an armored personnel carrier. At Normandy, Canadian and British engineers removed the guns off M7s and added additional armor to them, taken from landing craft. They'd call these M7s defrocked priests, or holy rollers. They would help the Canadians push back the Germans during Operation Totalize, in the later stages of Operation Overlord. Vehicles of this type would go on to be called kangaroos. M7 kangaroos, in some cases, could carry up to 20 men. <laughs> the M7 was further used by the Americans and British in the Pacific Theater during World War II. During the Korean War, the priest remained in service. It would be upgraded. The gun's elevation would go from 35 degrees to 65, 
in order to shoot over the tall Korean mountains. All right, I'm Johnny. Thank you for attending my service on the M7 Priest. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.